Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. One after another after another, Samsung Galaxy Folds are breaking, like absolutely ruined. And instead of the typical, ha ha, failure kind of video, I wanna actually take a step back and talk about what this actually means for the market, what this tells us about Samsung, and believe it or not, what it tells us about Apple. Hi. Want daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck? Of course you do. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech. Of course, show that gives you all these tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Happy Thursday, a lot of drama happening with the Samsung Galaxy Fold situation. So today, bit of a different episode. We're just going to be talking about that, the situation itself. So consider this a Front Page Tech special report. So by now you've probably heard the Galaxy Fold has a major, major issue. And by major issue, I mean, well, when you fold the Galaxy Fold, sometimes, just sometimes, it breaks it. <laughs> so far we have three reasons as to why these devices are being absolutely ruined. From what we've seen from people like MKBHD, there's a protective film over the display. The protective film looks like a screen protector. It is not. You cannot remove this protective layer. Well, I mean, I guess the problem is you can remove it, but you really shouldn't. Some units even show a warning about not removing the film, but for some reason, not all of them. But we gotta remember these are units that were given to reviewers, probably hand-selected units by Samsung to make sure reviewers are showing off the very best Galaxy Folds on camera to their audiences or in their blogs. And I use the best ones very loosely. You see, taking off this totally not a screen protector will pull at other display adhesives and basically face -fuck that display into oblivion. The other issues involve, well, folding it. People like Steve Kovac from CNBC had the Galaxy Fold display just die after a day of use. And Dieter Bonn from The Verge had his display just bulge out. For those of you playing along at home, that's three separate issues in three days, all of which will leave you with a $2,000 seizure inducer. Late last night, Samsung released this statement, saying a limited number of early Galaxy Fold samples were provided to media for review. We have received a few reports regarding the main display on the samples provided. We will thoroughly inspect these units in person to determine the cause of the matter. Did you catch that? Do you see the problem? Here, let me help you out. A limited number, that right there, those are the key words, a limited number. Let's jump to a report from Android Central. They say only a few dozen Galaxy Folds were actually given out. So obviously it's not even shipping to regular customers yet. There are only a few people with this device, period. And in just about two or three days, a good chunk of those people have had their Galaxy Fold totally shit its own britches. Guys, girls, this is awful. Like, I don't think you truly realize just how bad this could end up being for Samsung. Obviously, when this device starts rolling out to regular customers here shortly, we're going to see a lot more of these issues. And I don't think we're ready for that. I hope, I hope Samsung delays this. I hope that they don't just roll out a device that is very, very clearly not ready. I want to be very clear. I'm not happy that this happened. Just because I've gotten on camera on this very show and said time and time again that I don't think the concept of this is the future, that doesn't mean that I think Samsung shouldn't have made it. Listen, in my opinion, I think Samsung right now deserves more credit than ever. This is amazing technology. It's amazing that they made this. It's just a real shame that they rushed it. They knew it was fucked. They let us see it at events, but never let anyone touch it until now. This is why. This is the price of being first. This is what happens when you knowingly rush a product onto the market that you know is vulnerable. This is what happens when you put the history books 
ahead of your customers. But you know what? I think they deserve credit for that too. Listen, this is not the end of the story. There will be more issues, but in my opinion, those issues will not take away from the fact that they did this. They tried. Without them making moves like this and taking risks like this for the rest of the market, we as consumers won't end up with better products. Which brings me to you, Samsung Knights. Take a seat. I'm talking to you. If we are going to praise Samsung for what they got right, then we need to be honest with ourselves about the things they got wrong, too. No one needs your excuses. It's a first gen product! Yeah, that's not a good excuse. And last time I checked, this device did not come with a waiver to sign. They didn't sell it with a warning, they didn't sell it as a beta product. Spending $2,000 on a consumer product should never be a coin toss. Those of you out there finding every excuse possible for them right now aren't helping. And let's be honest, kids, shall we? Most of you yelling and running to their defense right now aren't going to spend $2,000 of your own money on your own fancy Galaxy Fold that might break. You will not put your money where your mouth is. So go ahead, keep defending them from the comfort of your own bedroom because you don't have $2,000 to spend and defending them through tweets and clever YouTube comments is easy and it's free. You can go ahead and get in line with the rest of the people who unsubscribe from this YouTube channel just because I say the things that you don't agree with. Because if the person you're watching doesn't go ahead and spew out the same talking points and validate your every opinion, you can't handle it and you bail out. It's like covering your ears so you can't hear what the bad man is saying. Ah la 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 la. Samsung doesn't care about you the way that you care about them. They aren't going to reward you for defending them, so stop. Stop making excuses. You have got to accept the good and the bad. If we cannot be honest about technology's flaws and failures when they happen, then we don't deserve technology when it is at its best. When we keep making excuses for this, we don't end up with better products because we keep excusing it away. Expect better and you'll get better. Now, let's take a look at the bigger picture. What does this train wreck actually tell us? Again, like I said, this is the price of being first. So briefly, real quick, I would like to direct our attention over to Apple because I think this situation, I think Samsung just told us more about Apple than Apple will ever be able to tell us about themselves. We are always complaining that Apple isn't first, that they don't innovate anymore. In my opinion, the Galaxy Fold situation shows us exactly why Apple isn't willing to take the risk in being first. They want to do things right. And let's be honest, they've been slipping on even that part. <coughs> MacBook. Apple isn't interested and can't afford some major PR nightmare like this. Their demographic just won't put up with it. I mean, we all remember Bengate, don't we? So when you've tested a product over and over again and you know it's not going to go the way you want it to go when you roll it out to customers, don't roll it out. We just saw that with air power. Listen, just because we don't necessarily see all of it, it doesn't mean that Apple and a lot of other companies in the industry are not working on innovative technology. I mean, we already know that Apple is working on similar stuff. We know they're working on a foldable phone. The difference is that they aren't willing to let us see their failures when the technology isn't ready. They want to innovate behind closed doors and aren't willing to let the public watch them trip up. Samsung, though, is willing to do that. The risk is worth it. Because even when sh** does hit the fan, they can still say they tried. And you know what? That's more than most companies can say.